Hey guys, Raylines here. Today I'll be showing you how to turn yourself into a Fortnite character in Photoshop. So let's get straight into it. To start off, I'm going to use a background image that I think we're all familiar with if we've played Fortnite before. And with this, we're going to need a photo of ourselves. So let's get straight into it. So I'm going to go file and open and bring in the photo I took of myself on my mobile phone. And doing this, I try to somewhat get the lighting to, to, to add up correctly with the rest of the image. As you can see on this guy's head, the lighting is shining on the uh, back of it. You have to keep that in mind. Angles and lighting are very important. So, once I have the image of myself, I need, I'm going to go use the pen tool and cut out my head. So we're just going to do that really quick here. Okay, so once you have completed cutting your head out with the pen tool, you're going to right click and make selection. And then click OK. Then with this, you're going to go select, inverse, and then press delete. And now you've just cut out your head. So we're going to go select and deselect. Now with this, we're going to, using the selection tool, we're going to click this tab, drag it down, and then drag the head onto the canvas of the background image for Fortnite. And we're just going to close down the other tab. So once I drag my head onto the background, you can see that it's far bigger than the actual background image because my mobile phone takes high resolution images. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to hold Ctrl and T, and this will allow us to resize the image. Then holding Shift, we're going to go up into the top corner of the uh, box, and we're going to hold Shift and scale that down. And then we're just going to do that again and repeat the process until we get the right size. So we want to make it as close to the head of the character in the image. So we're just going to keep scaling that down. And we're just going to hit enter to make that official. So now we have the head in the image and it's the right size. Now we got pretty lucky with this as it is, as my head seems to cover the entire head of the other character. But you don't always get so lucky, so I'm going to show you how to get basically remove the character's head from the image. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, really we just need to get rid of the, kind of the, the out, outer area of the head. So just a quick trick to do that on this is to select your background image. And then we're going to go up to the lasso tool. And we're just going to outline the head and try and get this as close to the head as possible, but you don't have to be very exact with it. So we're just going to go around here, take out the head. And once we've done that, we're going to go up to Edit, Fill, Content Aware, and click OK. And it's not perfect, but as you can see, Photoshop has this incredible feature, and it removed most of the head, the, 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 the parts of the head that we needed to get rid of are gone. So that's perfect. So we're going to select Select and Deselect. Now with our head, we're just going to move that back up and position it in the same place it was. So now that we've that done, as you can see, a bit of the chin of the previous character still kind of remains here. So we're going to try and remove that really quickly. So a quick way of doing this, we're just going to hide the layer with my face on it and select the background layer. Then we're just going to make a new layer above the background layer. And holding Ctrl and Alt, we're going to scroll in with our mouse and that will zoom in. And we want to remove this area here. So a quick fix for that is on our new layer, we're going to use the color picker tool and select a green that's pretty close to the chin. And then once you've selected the green, we're going to go up to our brush tool, select our brush tool, and uh, have a hardness of about 0%, or give or take, you know, you can add, you can play with this a little bit, but I like to use 0%, and then size something around 5 pixels, but this depends on the size of your images as well. So doing this, we're going to, on our, la on our new layer, we're going to just draw over the chin. Now, it doesn't look perfect right now, but you'll see what we'll do next. We'll just blend it in a little bit. So using the eraser tool, we're going to go up and with a size of about 14 and a hardness of 0, okay? On opacity, we're going to put it around 40%. Now we're just going to take a little bit from it. We don't want to reveal the chin, so we have to be careful what we do here. So we're just going to fade around the outside of it. And that looks pretty good. It doesn't look perfect, but you see, when we scroll back out, you wouldn't even notice. So it's perfect. So we're going to bring back in our face. And now the chin is gone. So the, 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 the face sits pretty nicely on the, the, the body of the character. So what we want to do next is we want to make it the same color as the body. So to do this, we're going to right, right click on our layer. 
and select pixels. What we want to do next is create a new layer above this face and again we're going to use the color picker tool. Now select a color that's near enough to the head. So I'm just going to use the neck area here. I'm going to select this kind of orangey tan color. And then I'm going to use the brush tool. And I'm just going to make my size really big because I'm just going to fill in the entire area. So I'm just going to cover my face. Once that's done, I'm going to go select and deselect. Now as you can see, I've covered my face with the color that does match the body of the character. So what we're going to do now is go to this drop down menu and I'm going to select soft light and we're going to change the opacity of that to about 60% and as you can see now my face actually pretty accurately matches up with the body you can tweak this again a little bit but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm pretty happy with that outcome so there's one more thing I like to throw in just because it kind of completes the whole um, animated cartoony style of the game um, so on the layer with my face, I'm going to go up to filter and oil paint And then on this I'm going to put everything down to the, the lowest setting except for scale Which will be set up to the fullest setting and then just click OK and this kind of um, softens the whole look of my face it, it makes my hair more kind of liquid and well, I guess oily <laughs> It makes everything flow a bit nicer and it kind of fits the game's style a bit more. As you can see guys, I am now a Fortnite character. This will be helpful for, for YouTube channel backgrounds, Twitch channel backgrounds, logos, profile pictures and even especially video thumbnails this would look really good in. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.